All right, I'm gonna do a quick little Q and A, and I'm gonna schedule it for uh, Sunday at seven o'clock. Because guys, I because guys, um, you know, I'm gonna try and post the video for Sunday, so that way I don't worry about it while I'm, you know, sitting up in church. I'm just like, ah, okay, listening. But anyways, um, so we're gonna we're gonna do. I printed out some. I printed out some questions, and I'm about to answer them. Okay, Bug, Bugsy, Bugsy, what? What is? And some of these can be. Some of these are quest character based, and some of these are just addressed to me as Bugsy No Name. So we're gonna get into it. Bugsy, why? Why does the why why did you just what is one of the other reasons besides the one you always say is the reason why you're doing um, a game guys? And pretty much the same reason I've been saying it. There's not like another reason. You know, but if we're being honest, what I like what I like about the Neptune series, the humor and the characters. And the fact that Bugsy G is kind of the this hodgepodge of like what I want to see in an anime protagonist. You know, he's he's a little shy, but when it really comes down to it, he's, he'll fight. He'll fight for everybody. He ain't afraid to he ain't afraid to actually just because unlike all the other protagonists, he'll say exactly what's on his mind if he's like pissed off enough. Which I don't think a lot of protagonists do because some of them are just the typical uh, "I'm a nice guy to everybody." When Jay, when he really starts loosening up and getting a little bit, and he gets a little bit more um, acclimated to game industries and start letting some of his anger out, uh, he's gonna tell certain characters how he feels when he gets real pissed off. He has the kind of same kind of personality as Juan. But he is, re but he can be really direct about it, <laughs> and blunt, and really just bluntly honest. I mean, I kind of showed that in a few in like the current video that's up now. You know, the thing about I would say, again, there are a lot of facets that make. G a, a freaking awesome character that I'm willing to just put him in there and just willing to see how it all goes out and how many stories I can write from G's, you know, personality and, you know, playing off the others and various other things. And the fact that Nitro Plus and him are childhood friends is something I kind of wanted to do. I don't know whether I'm going to do it as a trope to make fun of the childhood friend or maybe put something else more into it. Again, uh, that's not for season two. Season one's all about. Season one is just for kind of you know getting people acclimated to the characters that you know getting people used to the characters. I mean, not used to the characters, but getting people to know you know the characters that they don't know them already. And my major goal is to really just my major goal with this series is a. <clears throat> Sorry, is one to show people that OCs can be actual good main characters. Number two is to probably get some people into the Neptunia series because, you know, more people. More people is pretty cool. Okay, some people are asking me also some people were asking me also, will you edit will you adapt will you adapt <laughs> friggin' will you adapt any of the other when any new game comes out, will you adapt those to the story? I mean, again, I would say that Mega Dimensions, you know, this kind of takes place after Mega Dimensions. And Super Neptunia is sort of, Super Neptunia RPG is something I might do. And I already said I was going to do a Before Guys Online adaptation. Probably I'll make it into an OVA or something. 
an OVA audio book. Anybody want to see? <laughs> Anybody want to hear that? Anyways, um, yeah, I'm working on, you know, the first, second episode is taking a little bit longer because I'm just trying to really just figure out what I can do without making it all contrived and stuff. I want you to, I want you guys to actually, you know, um, right now I'm just reading it as an audio book and then later on I will implement more people doing, uh, voices and whatnot. But don't you worry. I'll still do Alfie Mojex's voice because, well, I like it. And also, and to be real, I like doing Steambacks' voice the way I do it. Just, it just seems kind of natural. I don't know. I will probably have more male, like, I'll probably get more male voice actors if I feel it. If I feel like I need to. Hmm. And the thing of, you know, so yeah, so yeah, I answered two questions because people were asking me, will there be any, will you, will you voice all the male characters? Probably not. Also, people are wondering about, I know people are wondering about, uh, Robin Forever Rivals. Eh, yeah, it's coming, but it's not coming, it's not really coming out right now, but it will come out soon. Sonic Freedom Fighters is still being rewritten. Uh, guys, I had like a whole season of everything setting up, setting up season two. And I had to rewrite everything, everything I had. You know, the big T3000 helped me, but um, he wanted to do like a kind of... He wanted to do kind of a, his own, like, he wanted to do a continuation of season three, and I was like, no, the reboot's the best way to go. Um, so yeah, that happened. And also, when I was writing with him, I tell the story to all my friends. I basically, I basically felt starch, like, just really nervous around him while I was writing, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Like, you know, Big T3000 was a dude that was very, very cool, and he actually decided to help me out with that. I was like, oh, my God. He's going to help me. But, I'm, but, you know, for certain, for certain series, I may ask for more writers. And besides, Casting Call Club actually does the whole more writers thing, and I kind of need more, anyway. More than just myself. Because if I want to get these, if I want to get these episodes out in a timely fashion, I'm probably gonna have to get more writers. You know, like I'm gonna have to get like a team of writers together, and uh, you know, maybe I'll do an update about that. Because honestly, I need more people. If we are to push this, if we are to push this out, we need more people. Because I, you know, the audiobook thing is nice, but if I can actually. If I could actually, like, I can't really animate on my computer, but if I can actually find someone that can animate in Source Filmmaker, maybe I can, maybe, I can basically do it, maybe I can basically just animate the thing. And then again, I'd have to pay animators and... You know, and I know someone's not gonna work for free, so I had to. So hopefully, by the time uh, season one's over, I'll be able to try and do source film, do source filmmaker, so I can animate it. Answered another question because people were asking me about that too. Again, I ain't opposed. <clears throat> I am not opposed to the idea of of animating it. Trust me. It's just the computer I have just doesn't do Source Filmmaker well. So every time I try to do something or try to learn something from Source Filmmaker, this computer would be like, no, no, we can't let you do that. We can't let you try and animate. Like, I, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys something. 
I want to show you guys this seriously. Like on, like the only thing, like the only bit of software on, on Steam that works is my anime, anime, <laughs> not my anime maker, my uh, RPG maker. If we had an anime maker, I could get done with. I can do. I can get some. I can get done with that stuff more quickly. But not the point. See, I'm gonna try because every time I try to get um, Source Filmmaker to work, it always does this. Watch. Like I'm about to show you guys something. It is a, like. You guys really? Oh, oh! I guess I must have took it off. But mark my, but take my word for it. Every time I tried to animate, it would never work correctly. Like it would give me like an error message, like, like Source Filmmaker has stopped working, and I'd be like, Oh my God! I just started this. You know, and sometimes I'd be in the middle of animating something and they'd just go, Source Filmmaker has stopped working. I'd be like, fuck! You know, so there that was. Um, and it kind of sucks because, yeah, yeah, I did animate a movie store and I found out I did have talent for it. And, uh, yeah, then, so, then Movie Store wanted to be like, you have to pay if you want to use Movie Store. You have to pay in like, you have to pay in like, um, you know, euros and stuff. I was like, oh man, you have to pay a pound to play it to use it. I'm like, oh Jesus. I'm just like, uh, I'm so proud of cer certain animations that I did in Movie Store. Because honestly, those were the first ones I actually really did. And people, certain people were like doing the usual, well, these movies are stupid because blah, 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 blah. you know, stupid stuff. Back when we, back when YouTubers had like little, like these uh, chat rooms where people can watch other people's videos together in, in, this, in this thing called the stream. And these two people were, um, uh, Basically saying, blah, they were like, they were like, um, hmm, let me explain this. Uh, people were like, two, two people were like, well, your videos are stupid because blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what? Because I actually, you know, back then I didn't really cuss like I used to now, but I, if I if I could, I'd be like, what? Because I actually have fucking talent. Because I'm actually doing something while you guys are probably just typing away. Yeah, that's a, that's the kind of crap I don't like. Like, you know, like you know, you can't animate, but you wanna you wanna push. And you know, these people were kind of friends of another friend of mine, and these these people would always be talking mad ish to them. I was like. I decide. I decide. Don't be mad because you guys can't animate. You know that. You know, trolls. You know, people always putting you down for stuff that you that you're doing is just. You know, you know people that do that. They're just being dicks because they know they can't do it. You know, I've been getting a lot of resistance from the. Uh, Parts of the Neptune fan community on Reddit because you know they're like, you know, because they're like, because they're like, you know, your OC. Oh, I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna show you this, guys. That I can show you why I got because I'm like, I think I'm running out of questions. Hold up, let me, let me grab my papers. Whilst I go to Reddit for you guys. And, and yeah, I'm thinking of working on a, on a, oh my, oh my game, we got this movie, too, but again, I'm trying to figure out what, what would be a good story for that. Oh, and here we are.
Don't look at the other thing because I tried to post a video to to our videos in YouTube and it wouldn't just let me do it. So one so it's like So a hair series, you oh see your exit is on the right. Like there are more, there are more comments, but there are more comments, but I don't know where they are. But yeah, yeah. So some parts of the Neptunian community do they do not like me. Well, one doesn't like me. I don't know where the other comments went. But basically, but basically, yeah. When it comes to like Neptunia fans, I'm sort of on my own. The Ami like the Amino Neptunia fans are like supporting me and you know still you know, still telling me to push on. Even though I told them about the art contest and no one has sent in any submissions yet. Like guys. <coughs> I'm like, come on, I got I got you the base. I wanna see what you can do with it. But yeah, I just been but yeah, so there's that. So I have people who wanna help, but I have people who are kinda wanting to help. I got uh I got some voice actors who want to help too and they're going to. Since that since the uh deadline is met. You know, so I can like just tell tell one of these voice actors they got the they got the part. You know, because I'm waiting for more. Because I'm waiting for more uh, people to basically get into that. Okay, a few more things. Let me think. I got a few. I got a few more things. A um, few more questions. Bugsy Prime, and these ones are character ones. Bugsy Prime, why? Why do you, why do you treat why do you treat G the way that you do? Do you hate him? No, I don't hate G. Because I like, I like messing with them because it reminds me of a person I used to be. That's why. But you know. It is what it is. You know. Also, also, if I can get out of character for a moment, you know, a few others are saying, you know, as as a little YouTuber, what can I do to, what can I do to, what can I do to get subscribers? I just say, if you don't want to do it the underhanded way by starting drama, don't do that. I just say do what what comes naturally to you. You know, do what comes naturally to you as a as a person. You know, do what comes naturally to you and don't and you know, just don't go into the dark side which is just starting drama with people. Okay, I that one was a character one, but I think that I think that was the only character one I had actually. Okay, another one. And some of these are from all of these are from Twitter with uh, just anonymous. So a lot of people wonder. Some people are wondering what do I think about Incredibles two? Oh, uh, I'm doing a review on that pretty soon. I just wanted to wait about a week because you know people are. Uh, Still kind of watching it, and I want to kind of give a week before I start really tearing into what I like about The Incredibles 2. You know, it's just, you know, it's really awesome, and I'm going to talk about it soon. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing regular reviews again. Game reviews take a little bit longer because I'm working on a lot of Steve. So I gotta balance the reviews with with the stuff, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. 
so so yeah but if you want to be a youtuber I'm just saying just do try your like you just gotta try your hardest to just you know advertise yourself and show off your videos and someone will find you interesting a person will find you interesting and then they'll tell their friends and you'll and you all get what you <coughs> and I won't tell you it'll make it successful, but it's a start. It's a start in the right direction. Mm. Okay, one more thing. One more thing. Last question. Last legit question. You got you guys you know <coughs> one person wanted to know what happened to Prime what happened to now Bugsy Prime's storyline with Dark Darkus? Well, it's not like I, it's not like I stopped it because I just couldn't do the rest of it. Nah, let's just say there's a reason why I put it on hold for a while, and when it comes back, it's gonna be some, it's gonna be some pretty awesome stuff. Also, also. Also, also, there's one more, actually. I didn't see this one. Bugsy No Name, which actual CPU do you like? Well, shit. Didn't think anybody would actually ask me. You know, the guy behind... <clears throat> the guy behind G, who he actually... The guy behind Bugsy G, to who he actually likes. Um... Like, again, I just want to put this out there. I don't like any of them romantically. Like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to bang any of the, any of the Neptune characters. Okay, that's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a lie, but, it's actually a little bit of a lie, but, you know, uh, on me, but, <laughs> but, you know, I'd say the character I like, and I wouldn't want to, like, bang, would probably be Neptune, because I feel like I could, like, because I feel, because I do like Blonde, but I do, but if, if I had a choice, I'd probably hang out with Neptune most of the time. Because, you know, Neptune can, to Neptune, when she's not, like, having to deal with something, she's basically goofy, and, you know, eats snacks, and plays plays a whole bunch of games, and, you know, that's, you know, I like, <clears throat> so if Neptune was actually, like, a <clears throat> legit real person, and Neptune was, like, an actual real person, I would actually hang out with Neptune a lot. I personally see myself just hanging out with Neptune, being like, hey, I brought my freaking Dreamcast, let's do this. And, you know, and we both like retro games. And I think that's why I, why I have G kind of, you know, the weird thing, of, but I know I wasn't going to talk about G again, but the weird, the funny thing about G is, like, you know, on one hand, I'm a Sega fan, so you, you would assume that G would probably go with Neptune. But then again, I used to play a lot, I used to play a lot at Nintendo, so... Blonde's like the general answer. And I used to like freaking Xbox, so you'd say that Bert's the answer. Bert's the answer of who G's gonna end up with. But then you could say, you know, I still like the Dreamcast, so you'd say, who's the is the right answer for that? But, okay, okay. But, um, and, you know, I have a PlayStation, and I love playing that. So you'd think that Noir is the proper answer. But I'll say this, because one person did ask me this. I can't reveal or tell you who who G ends up with. It's the first se it's still the first season, guys. And there is way more there is way more going on in the first season right now than just G's love life. But <clears throat> it will have a lot more. It will have some focus. 
but I'm not going to take you guys out of the actual plot of season one. Just do it. I'm not going to take you out of the actual plot of season one for it. Mm, there will be episodes centering around mostly his relationship with all the other CPUs in the first episode while they do stuff. But I don't want it to be like the big focus because I wanted to still have a little action in it. Along with the jokes and along with the relationshipy stuff. You know, so I can kind of still make something that actually feels like a show instead of a instead of me just making a fanfic of who gets with who because I just feel like it you know. I want to surprise you all. Because it may because it may not happen in the first season. It may not happen in the second season. It may not happen in the third season. Who knows? I don't know. I can't tell you. But you're gonna love what you're gonna love what you are gonna love the ride getting to that point. But right now, I leave you all. I leave you all, and I will see you all. I will see you all when I'm back. When I'm back in the. When I'm back in the old studio, and I'm doing more videos. But I'll see ya. I'll see you later. Bye, folks.